we decided to whip back out the vlogs because we have been engaged, woohoo, officially for um, a week and a day, which is super exciting. Jordan proposed last week. Um, I'll put some of that like, you know, cute little footage here. We decided to dive back into vlogging, um, mainly just for us and our families, just so, you know, they can be a part of the journey too. And so we can look back on this time and, you know, remember what we were going through and how we were planning and everything. Cause it's just fun and we're really excited. This past week was really busy because uh, we just had a lot going on in our personal lives. So now we are going to kind of, you know, dive head first into planning and we're really, really excited. We have a lot planned for this week. Um, today is Sunday, September 4th. 10. 10. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, today is Sunday, September 10th, and we are going to the mall area because uh, I need to find an engagement dress for pictures tomorrow. We are actually doing three sessions of pictures. Don't ask, you're gonna see them, and it's a great concept, and I'm super excited for it. Um, well, right now we have two planned sessions. We have a third that we wanna do, but if the two that we are planning end up being sufficient and really great, then so be it, we'll save some money, but I do have a third vision in mind that I really, really wanna do, so we'll see if we get to it. But right now we have two. Um, but anyway, I need a dress for tomorrow because Jordan actually planned this photo session from, or with the girl that, took our photos of our engage or of our proposal mm -hmm. so he kind of sprung this one on me to be quite honest which I don't mind at all I'm very <laughs> excited um but I didn't have a, like an outfit ready or anything and I really want to wear a dress because of where we're taking pictures I'll try to like film a little bit tomorrow because it's so cute and I'm so excited um all right it's tomorrow it's tomorrow <clears throat> yeah so yeah we're going to the mall area we are going to Abercrombie because I need to make some returns, but also they have really great dresses and I love their sizing and that's the train. We're going to Target because I saw a really cute dress online and TikTok, it's going viral right now, so I wanna to try to pick it up. Sorry, I'm filming like this because I'm trying to get Jordan in the picture, but it's like hard, so I'm just gonna film myself. Um, anyway, so yeah, we're going to Target, then we're gonna to go to Nordstrom Rack as well because Jordan really likes Nordstrom Rack, see if there's anything. we don't find anything. Yeah, I, I've never really shopped for clothes at Nordstrom Rack, to be honest, so I'm just to see if I find anything there, but Jordan really likes it, so he might find something for himself. But yeah, we're really excited. Um, can't wait to take you on the journey. Can you tell we haven't vlogged in a really long time? Nope, I think we picked it right back up. We're naturals. Yep. Okay, bye. So here's the first dress I tried on. This is at Target. Um, it went viral on TikTok, which is how I found it. And it's actually a very beautiful dress. It's very high quality, but it was just a little too tight in places that I'm self-conscious about. So that's why I didn't go with it. Um, I also hate when dresses put in this like cup thing that I just pointed out just because I have bigger boobs so it never really looks that good um again in the videos this actually looks really really nice but um just like in my back area and my side boobs it just wasn't that flattering so I chose not to get it it was also like $40 I want to say so if I didn't love it I didn't want to spend $40 on it um this is my fit check for the day because I actually really liked my outfit that day um this is at Abercrombie and I'm sad that nothing worked out at Abercrombie because I love Abercrombie but uh yeah, just nothing really worked out. This is a slip dress that I really, really wanted to work out, but again, just didn't really do me any favors, so decided to skip it. Okay, a little update on the engagement dress shopping. Um, sorry, I just come home from work, so I like, I don't know, I'm in a mood. Um, but we ended up not being able to find, or I ended up not being able to find an engagement dress that I really loved. I honestly like started freaking out a little bit about it. Oh, sorry. And yeah so i didn't fi find a dress that i felt comfortable in so we actually ended up moving the shoot from the original date which was monday i want to say i don't know whenever near when we filmed those last clips um but yeah i just didn't want to waste our photographer's time or our time if i just didn't feel comfortable taking photos um in the I, and I just couldn't find an outfit. So I took the week, honestly, to just keep searching. Um, I'm gonna be super honest. I like still have not found an outfit that I love, but I'm hoping that like, once I actually do my makeup and my hair, I'll just feel a lot more comfortable, you know, photographing myself. And I know Jordan is gonna look great no matter what. 
And like I said, we have three shoots that we want to do. We are for sure doing at least two of the visions and then seeing if this third one is um, is totally necessary or if we like can fit in the budget, whatever. Um, and this second shoot, I am so excited for. I have an outfit fully planned for it. I know it's going to be amazing. So that's why this first one, I have essentially come to the realization that it's going to be what it's going to be. I also don't want people to think like, oh, but like you're paying all this money. So sorry, I'm holding my phone and my like arm gets tired. Um, but essentially, again, like I don't want people to think like, oh, you're spending money on a photo shoot. So you're going to waste money on photos that you don't like. One, I will love these photos because it's going to be me and Jordan and we love each other a lot and it'll be a great capture of our love. If I don't love my outfit, so be it. But two, Jordan pay, the, these are essentially extra photos that the photographer is like doing a favor for us like she's amazing um and she's super super nice but essentially jordan paid her for our initial proposal photos and he knew that i was going to be surprised that day because i had no idea it was coming he was like her nails aren't going to be the way that she wants blah blah, blah. is there any way we could do a follow-up session with you and because our photographer is so super nice she was like yeah of course so we're essentially getting like a bogo i don't want to say that because I know Jordan paid, he won't tell me, but I know he paid a lot of money for those initial photos. So whatever, whatever. At the end of the day, we're not wasting money. And I don't want people to think that. Um, I don't know where this story started. I don't know where it's going. But anyway, I found a dress that I'm like semi comfortable in. Um, I took videos. I'll put it here over my face or whatever. Um, I don't love it. Um, it's from Amazon. I really like the back. I will say that. So maybe we'll get some like nice pictures of my back. Um, but it's a little too long. And honestly, that's how a lot of my clothes end up being because of just my sizing and my measurements. Everything's always like a little too long. Uh, I wish it was like two or three inches shorter just because I love my legs. And that was my one thing with like trying to find an outfit for this shoot because of the venue and where we're shooting at i was like jordan i just need to find an outfit that i can show off my legs because i love my legs and for our other shoot that we have scheduled i'm wearing jeans like full full jeans um and i was like i just need one set of photos that i can show off my legs so if anything we have that excuse my like undergarments and stuff but i also got this dress from abercrombie this one right here and honestly i'm a little mad about <laughs> or mad at abercrombie right now because usually it's my tried and true usually it's very reliable but it is just leaving me in the dust right now so i was really excited about this dress actually if you can see the cut it's like kind of um like slim around the waist i ordered a large which is what is what's on top and then also an extra large just because i'm always in between sizes with abercrombie and this dress i am 100 percent in between and i don't know i i'm not a tailor i don't know like standards whatever but the large is a little too tight which is fine like whatever that's why i ordered the extra large but the extra large feels like it is two sizes larger like it feels like there should be a middle size in this one with just how this one fits if you can see like there is so much extra room on both sizes the armholes are humongous on the extra large i'm sorry i don't want to like put it like that but like you can just see like the big size difference usually i feel like with the to a large to an extra large step it's not as um the difference isn't you know as big of a difference um and then the thing that gets me that like just really makes me think these like there should be a midsize is just the difference in length i feel like this should like an extra large should only be like an inch larger or longer rather because i know abercrombie does you know petite which i'm definitely not <laughs> uh tall and regular size and i ordered a oh here you can see the back of the dress i see it like scoops down i don't know i like that um but um usually i'm a regular in, in Abercrombie sizes. And I ordered a extra large regular in this dress because it had those options, but this one feels like an extra large tall. And I, I don't know, I'm like, my emotions are heightened because I really wanna try to find a nice outfit for this shoot, but because I can't, again, my emotions are heightened. So I, I just feel like I'm feeling a certain type of way against Abercrombie right now, because again, usually they're like so reliable and half of my closet is from Abercrombie because they're size inclusive and like doing great things. But, um, I don't know, I guess I'm just sad that I couldn't find anything at Abercrombie for the shoot. So anyway, this is the dress I'm going with. I've come to terms with it. I think with heels, it's going to look really, really nice. I think with the poses and the shoots and my mood board that I have. Oh, maybe I'll put my mood board right here. I think it'll turn out fine. Again, it's Jordan's going to look great because he always looks great. And I really love the outfit that he chose. Um, so yeah, that's just an update on engagement photos. It is what it is. 
we're moving on to shoot two. That's why we're having three shoots or two shoots at least. I have a feeling we're gonna add that third shoot because I my concept for it, I'm just gonna say I'm really excited for it. So it is what it is. We're here. That's life, baby. Hi. Hello. So we're in the car and the AC's blowing because we live in Florida, so it's just really hot. But we are on our way to our first venue tour, and we're so excited. Um, earlier this week, we did have a call with a different venue, and honestly, we knew going into that call that we weren't going to pick the place because we knew it was going to be out of our budget, but we were like, let's humor ourselves and just, just see. Um, but yeah, they gave us a proposal. It was, for full transparency, $48,000 for just catering, beverage, and site fees. Um, so that doesn't include DJ, lighting, florals, whatever. Um, so yeah, just a little bit out of our budget. Um, I don't know if this is unethical or not, so whatever, but we are still gonna go tour it because it's so beautiful and we just wanna see, and people tour venues all the time, right? And don't go through it. I mean, that's what, I mean, that's why you have multiple venue tours. So we don't feel bad about doing that because <laughs> people pay $50,000 to have their weddings here. So anyway, that's a long, long story short whatever but we are on our way now to the balcony which is in downtown Orlando this is really the only like downtown venue we're looking at and I'm just really curious about it because it has really nice views of the downtown area it's definitely the most like city um like cityscape ish type of venue that we're looking at um, and that definitely interests me only thing that not the only thing but one of the things that I dislike about this venue is that it is truly like or at least from pictures it is truly a blank slate um like it has event a really space. yeah blank space of event space it has a really gorgeous patio area nice inside like it's large but it's just you have to provide so much like rentals and like decorations if you want to make it your own and like make it look nice honestly um so that can rack up really fast but we'll see i don't know maybe we'll end up really really liking it and liking the views and everything. I'm definitely gonna try to film as much as we can. We're going to an event of this place um, before we do like a private tour. They have like sunset champagne um, events essentially and they're free so we were like, let's do that. Um, so yeah, we're really excited. This is our like first real diving into like the wedding planning other than, you know, just collecting our thoughts on a spreadsheet. So really excited to film it and share these memories. Me too. Oh, I forgot music was playing in the background. And we're eating nerd clusters. <laughs> That's what I was laughing at. You were going like this, and I was like, what's behind those little fingers? Nerd clusters. Mm -hmm. Sponsor us. Yeah. Uh -oh. Bye. All right. Emmy's making up, reheating some pasta. Mm -hmm. Yummy uh, pasta from our anniversary. Oh, <clears throat> so what did you think of the balcony? I didn't love it per se. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think just thinking about it from a logistics standpoint, it's a little tough because it's essentially on the 11th floor of this building downtown, mm -hmm. which is really like the views were amazing. Views were beautiful. Yep. Um, I really like the space itself, to be quite honest. The patio is humongous, so I feel like you kind of are reserved to do more stuff outside. Right. But we want to get married in the spring in Orlando, so like that's totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, but just logistics wise thinking, again, I think we said this earlier, but you need a lot of decorations to really make it your own. Yeah. Because it really truly looks like a blank space. Right. Um, which is fun if you're like creative, like we're creative and stuff, mm -hmm. but we just would need to budget for a lot of DIY stuff. Right. Yeah. Which we already are doing for wherever we pick but mm -hmm. this one is just like more elevated and like a lot of the pictures that they showed had like couples used a lot of rentals like rented couches and stuff just to yeah. really spruce it up so that's just like another cost to think about uh -huh. and then just again logistics wise logistics wise like bringing everything up and down like we parked in what i assume would be the garage that guests would park in yeah but I mean, if we were to book it, we'd have to ask more specific questions of like, if we bring a U-Haul that like has our, you know, signage and everything in it, where could we bring that up? Could we use the freight elevator, blah, 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 all that Ooh. stuff, which I'm sure they have the, or I know they have the answers to, yeah. but it's just more to think about. So not, I know it's going to be stressful no matter where we pick and whatever, but like yep. this one just has a little bit more added stresses that 
I don't know if we want to deal with per se. Yeah. But I didn't hate it because like the venue itself, I actually really like. Like the yeah. outside views are really really nice. I'll let you talk in a second. Okay. <laughs> but the like, outside views are really nice, and I love the views. Like there was this one view with this like emerald green building in the back that I never really paid attention to when we were downtown, but being up there, I saw it and I was like, wow, that would be really really beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um. So like definitely both positives and negatives about it but i would say it's probably not on the top of my list what yeah. do you think jordan i also saw a little bit of challenges um so yeah i i like it and i think i might want to move forward with just like getting a proposal just to see just like to how see. just to see like how it stacks up um, because she did say site fee alone for a Saturday wedding, and we're pretty sure we want to get married on a Saturday, uh, is $9,000. Yeah. So we'd have to, their catering system is a little bit more, um, choose your own, choose your own. adventure. Yeah. Um, but it does come with a wedding planner, but I don't know if that's what we would want. If we want to choose our own planner or go with whatever they provide or whoever they provide. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it looks interesting. I'm, it, I'm willing to hear out their options, but um, definitely looking forward to some other places. Yes. Hi. Hello. So we are going on another venue tour today, but this video is already getting too long. So you're gonna have to watch the next video to see where we go Ooh, and what we're right doing. Here. Yeah. Bye. Thanks for watching.